that there was a man living in Constantine that could kill people with his mind. Can you think of the colour of the card? Think of it, it's either black or red or red-black. Just think of the colour, it's either black or red or red-black, it's red. Now when it's red, just think of the suit of the card. It's either a spade or a club or a heart or a diamond. It's either a spade or a club or a heart or a diamond. Just think, okay, it's a diamond. Thank you, Rach. You're giving too much away. Think of a number, add your age, take off the last three digits of your television licence serial number, and what are you left with? Alan Jones, of course. Alan, for any new listeners, is our resident rational mystic. Yeah, he's a magician, yep. an astrologer, stripper, a teacher, and yep. a huge fan of escapologist Houdini. In fact, rumour has it, there's not much that Alan doesn't dip his magic wand into. Text. He's, he's transcending the image, he's completing the postcard. That's too much. <laughs> 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 I'm actually... Uh, if, uh, this looks rude. Uh, I'll show you guys. I mean, do any of you, do those, uh, do any of you recognize that as a Cornish landmark? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, does the plant, does the first have a name on it? Do you mind, mind on the back and front the front? It does. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually quite an important landmark. Um, and it's, it's a term, but you don't know the place. Okay, I think we do, and it's very special to a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine. Uh, can you name the place on the postcard? Good evening, Oh, good evening. It's uh, Halloween. I call upon all those beings present, both human and spiritual, to look down upon this circle and each person standing here bear witness that we are here in love and light in an attempt to bring forth the spirit of one who has passed away. But whatever happens in the next few moments, please do not break the circle. And Houdini would say, it was symbolising people's, normal people's uh, um, ability to escape from their oppressive bonds. So, are you expressing, ex escaping from any oppressive bonds when you escape from Oh, I don't know. You see, you can, if you want to get into deep level, you can say this is a metaphor for other things. Is it? No, it's just a bit of fun. <laughs> Watch this very carefully. Watch this very, very carefully. Do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? Pot of gold. Well, if you start with the gold, you have to, we have to have the rainbow, don't we? Look. It's good, isn't it? Imagine that's the piece of paper. Yeah. I want you to imagine that you're drawing the doodle. Don't, don't move your hand, but imagine you're drawing the doodle. Imagine you're drawing the doodle. Imagine you're drawing the doodle. Okay, stop. Just answer in your mind, would the doodle be better that way up or that way up? It'd be better that way up, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would, wouldn't it? Do you mind standing back to me? Okay, well, tell me when you started to draw the doodle. Tell me when you started to draw it. You started, okay. Finished? Yeah. Turn around. <laughs> Show them. <laughs> Cartoons, animals. Oh! <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, now this is really interesting. Your dream date is also a musician, isn't it? Yes, and your dream date is a musician, but this is kind of interesting because this musician isn't just... Oh, right, okay, this musician is into, into art in a big way. They've got a very broad palette for them to draw. They're also into, into world music, and you're into world music as well, I think. You, you, kind of, you kind of enjoy those, those different rhythms and different cultures, yeah? Um, you don't have a drum by any chance, do you? You don't belong to a drumming group. You have, okay. Okay, that's good. So you play the djembe, yeah? Yeah, okay. So you play the djembe, you're in a drumming group, which brings us to world music, which takes us to who 
might be your, um, there's only one person I can think of that's into world music who's in kind of punk crossover, who's into cartoons. Can you name your dream date? Um, Damon Alba. Damon Alba. Thank you very much.